BackgammonGalaxy.com presents Backgammon Pro Analysis What's up Backgammon fans? This is Mark Olsen from BackgammonGalaxy.com Today we're gonna do a morning stream because we have a great match at our hands from Japan. It's Super Grandmaster Mochi playing against Grandmaster Yoshi and it's the semi-final uh, a 25 point uh, so the semi-final in the Meijing League which is the big Japanese league and uh, it's a 25 point match with me I have uh, Grandmaster Dirk Shiman hi Dirk yeah hi everybody good morning um, exci exciting match here going on Mochi rolled just some super jokers to turn a game around and uh, uh, we got really lucky that we are in a, a close match, so nothing like 20 to 2 or so, so it, I think it's going to be really exciting to watch. Yes, so we are 9 away, 12 away. Mochi is leading and he just got really lucky here, Mochi, in this game. Okay, DX, so um, what's going on in this opening position? Yeah, nothing special. All roles like more or less forced. And now Mochi has a decision since uh, Yoshi fanned and he's uh, thinking about doubling. Uh, looks like, I mean, the score already kind of becomes relevant because Mochi should be a little bit more conservative. Uh, for money, I think it would be a close double and take uh, but let's see what mochi does yeah this is actually interesting because for sure you have to adjust a little bit when uh, when you're up nine away 12 away yeah it's not so much the take point but the the, the recubes could uh, i mean since uh, yoshi is is winning like 35 or 37 percent of the games those can translate into uh, strong recubes uh, quickly mm -hmm. but still mochi goes ahead and doubles i think uh, very clear take yeah easy take um we don't have an so. xg feed on the match but i will have an xg uh, window open here so we can check some key positions along the way in case we so need it. did you uh, put in the double or no, not yet because I'm still busy setting up the Facebook stuff <laughs> okay okay <laughs> so I'll be no stress and present in a couple of seconds so uh, watch his double so far, turns out to be really going well for him. He brings now more builders down. Yoshi has two checkers on the bar and desperately needs to come in. Yeah, at least he'll be in the game until the end. And now Mochi will attack on the three point for sure, I think. I mean, that would be, ah, uh, yeah. Buckle up for safety. I mean, Mochi only has one checker back, and uh, there's also just the the game plan of of just running home with the last uh, checker. And uh, if he gets lucky, he wins a gammon. And if not, at least it would bring him to 18-13, which is already a nice lead. Mm -hmm. But, just, uh, I mean, would you have hit there on the three point or would you have uh, played just uh, flexible I, and nice? I didn't see it well, Dirk. I'm present now. I'm just uh, saying. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Face, Facebook business, okay. Facebook business. And now I'm just going to send a text message in the in the YouTube chat to people seeing there that we're going to do, uh, that we have English commentary here on Facebook. So I think uh, this is the, the right idea, attacking the last checker and yeah, 
he doesn't want to play with uh, too many bloods, but uh, I think he should go for it. Because uh, he's, if Mochi misses, he is in good shape of uh, building a strong prime if he brings the builders down. Did he move both checkers here or he still has a... Ah, that was the three. Uh, uh, the three to play, he's uh, thinking about uh, playing 11 to 8 or 13 to 10. Okay. My, my preference would be 13 to 10, but uh, who knows? <laughs> But you know what, Dirk? I can actually check it here in in uh, in Extreme Gammon, and I can tell you that for money, this was the best play. Let uh -huh. me see with the score. Yeah, then it should be also the best play at that score. No, not so many good choices. Yeah, it was the best play. Quite clear, mm -hmm. actually. Good play from Yoshi. This one, however. Yeah, his chances, offensive chances, have diminished by a lot. And I think he, he still needs to play a sort of pure and hope for the best. But... Uh, Problem is with the risk versus reward situations. Even if it if he doesn't get hit, the the reward is not that great. So, but now he really is in trouble. Mochi threatening the six prime. Yeah, not a good roll. Five two. No, now it's all about uh, avoiding the gammon. Yeah, he wants to anger up. 3-1. Okay, so he can't make the 6 prime, but he has a choice here. Does he make the deuce point, or does he hit on the 20 point? Um, I would... Yeah, the, I wouldn't hit on the... T yeah, only on the... Like this, yeah. This is, this is, I think, the best play. Aha, that's an interesting play. Yeah, yeah. Why, why making the deuce point? Um... <laughs> So at least uh, Yoshi has got a chance now to get the second anchor, breathe some life into his position. So now he has to hit on the five. No, no other option. It was a great yep. play from Mochi, the double hit. Mm -hmm. But it was quite close. You could have also made the deuce point, and that's just behind. And any, okay. anything else is a blunder. So very good play from Mochi. If anybody watching this, please smash the like button, the Facebook like like button. That's going to help us to get this video to show to the rest of the Bagamon community. The Facebook algorithm is generous if we like and maybe give some hearts, actually. Let's let's see some hearts from the guys, people uh, watching this. Thanks, guys. So, uh, actually... <laughs> Yoshi now again has a chance going forward. Am I right? I mean, if Mochi enters badly and uh, Yoshi is able to recirculate his checkers, mm, uh -huh. I think I would would make the bar. Would make the just bar or or hit hit on the twenty three point right with the ace. No, no, no. The the twenty three point. Uh, I mean, that is a weakness in in uh, Mochi's uh, game and uh, mm -hmm. I would be rather reluctant but uh, the other game plan is just uh, make your own prime and uh, let him crack uh, but this yeah oh I, I can hit the, the second guy and yeah maybe now now that he plays it it also looks really attractive and then yeah make your prime hope to hop out with the Six, yeah, I think I like that best. Or okay, <laughs> so 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 difficult in this it prime is, positions. It is very difficult. He can also uh, hop, uh, jump with the six and just hit with the ace. 
to break the yeah line. i wouldn't do that i mean uh, that is just uh, i, I uh, rather rather want to make the bar or protect the bar by hitting the, the second checker mm -hmm. i wouldn't jump out i mean there should be plenty of time to to roll another other six uh I think that is too defensive a play. Mm -hmm. Okay. But but okay, I might be wrong, of course. Yeah, yeah, that this looks is a best. Good, good play from uh, Yoshi. I have the XG results right here. Yeah, it and it comes in on the ace. The so no. Mm -hmm. It is indeed the best play. Well played, Mo uh, Yoshi. Tough checker okay. play. So that's what I mean. Uh, Mochi is just the one other bad roll away from starting to crack his position, I would say. And if uh, Yoshi gets the four point, uh, we can even see some cube action pretty soon. Uh, I wouldn't do that. I would make the. I think the bar is more important. I mean, he should have plenty of time to. Yeah. Good play. I mean, I think so too. Yeah. The seven point is adding a lot of extra blocking value here. Uh, Good shot from Mochi. Six, six one. Six a uh, very good, good number. Uh, hit and he jump needs, out. Yeah, he needs to jump out at least. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, oh, can it escape. But I think that's a clear play, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, no other choices. So one, that's a good shot. Again, again, oh. I think the six six is clear. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, he can also hit, but uh, does he need to hit? Uh -huh. oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's also possible. I, I even didn't see that. Still too early in the morning. Wow, this is another tricky checker play. <laughs> really, really difficult yeah. checker play. Uh, really tough decision here for Yoshi. Yeah, yeah. I'm the one second I like one play, and uh, two seconds later I like the other. Yeah. Okay. That's, Every, that's everyone, cool. everyone who likes coming out with a six pre press the like button and everyone who wants to hit press the heart button let's see uh, Yoshi is moving back and forth I'm not so sure about uh, not making the 8 point I think if I hit I I just uh, make the 8 point because those, those uh, shots that he gives are really devastating yeah you leave 2-6 four five and double four so you leave f five shots however you get to jump the prime with the with the back check uh, oh there's this move as well 23 16 uh, uh, that, that, that is too passive for my taste <laughs> yeah i think if you jump then you probably make the prime with the ace right with the yeah eight eight. absolutely absolutely i mean the eight point is part of your prime and it has a lot of blocking power and those five shots are devastating. So it's the like button for the jump and the hard button for the hitting play. So this is one of the choices, I can agree. Yeah, that's the jumping play. It's really good in a prime versus prime position to escape back checkers. That means you have 13 checkers to move in your front position and just two checkers stuck. Much better than three checkers stuck. Okay, there's a lot of plays. Uh, um, a lot of you guys likes the jumping play. Okay, he does jump. And actually, I just finished the XG position here, and I have the result. It's super close between the okay. jumping play and making the 8, 
and uh, hitting and stepping up. So if you hit, you don't make the nine, uh, the eight point. Okay. You step up. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that is a really bad number. He was on the verge of turning the game around, but now he is back in trouble. <laughs> yeah, this is a really annoying play. Yeah, yet somehow you gotta make the best of it here. Yeah. That's definitely an option to hit uh -huh. on the ace. You you don't have any good five to play. So what else can he do here? He can run. Yeah, you can. He can slot the four point and play eight to three, just to but make the two. Make the yeah. two, yeah. Oh, that's also a contender for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's. I think that I think he found found the best play. Actually, it's just the second best play. The best play is hit on ace and slot the four. So that would okay. look like this. Very interesting, the double tiger. No, yeah, no but way. that is uh, that is a uh, play that that uh, no human I think would ever make. I yeah. I, I would assume so. Very difficult play. I another bad shot from Yoshi. Uh, I think the six uh, he has to hit. No, I don't see any any other option. Keep him busy. Maybe pick up another checker or something. And uh, I agree. He can't really yeah. do anything else with the six. Yeah, and play, uh, yeah, sixteen, eleven, probably. Yeah, and hope for the best. Yeah, that's the most uh, offensive play. It's a bit risky because you spread out the plots, but it doesn't bury any checkers. Sometimes when you're stuck in a prime versus prime position and you're losing. The blitzing moves can be your best choice. It's not that you like the blitz, but it's like you're distracting your opponent from trapping you and hope, hoping to get lucky to escape. So this might be one of those uh, positions. Yeah, what, what makes it more attractive is just uh, that there is another blot out, out there that he might be able to pick up. Yeah, that's, that's true. Good point. That makes the blitz play a little bit more attractive. Mochi fans. Yeah, like now he has deuces to cover. Deuce, oh, do very good roll. Now, so now you can see what might happen if you just attack. Uh -huh. Now Mochi, Mochi is under pressure to perform because if the other checker is uh, picked up by Yoshi, then he has got plenty of time to escape his back checkers, and we m mustn't forget that. At this score, he can uh, win many games yeah. by giving oh, he does very... Look at the, he does look at the shifting play here. Uh -huh. I like this shifting play. It's an efficient use of his deuces and he, he gets to keep that 16 point. He doesn't have to break the 16 point. Of yeah. course, you want to have at least one checker on the 16 point so you can shoot at that blot with an ace next time. Yeah, But you don't want to split and, it. And he, his, all of his prime value goes out the window. Ah, he changes his mind. The, the, let me just put it in on XG. Okay, he, he, he switched. Good play, Yoshi. It's a clear play, actually. Yeah, it's, it would be close to a blunder not to make this okay. play. So good play from Yoshi. He has no prime value anyway. He's simply just playing the blitz. <laughs> There's a good comment from uh, Mate Feher. Okay, Mochi is back in command. <laughs> Oof, double sixes. S Oh, he almost missed that he could make the six prime. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe he's uh, thinking about going for the German aggressively, but I think it's a wrong idea that... Uh... Yes, I, of course he has to make the 6 prime. Clearly. Yeah. And now he can still attack comfortably uh, with, with the 6 prime as a backup, so if uh, Yoshi doesn't anchor... Okay, so this is six prime theory. Um, he could hit, but he can't hit on the three point. Usually you want to hit at the edge of your prime, but he can't here. So he's thinking about, yeah. do, do I hit on the deuce point, which is a bit impure, or do I just play flexible with this play? Okay, he goes for the flexible play. Do you agree with that play, Dirk? Yeah, I am. My inclination would have been uh, to hit, and uh, since I, I don't see so much of of a downside, like okay, now if things work out like this, he uh, he's thinking. No, he's uh, he's advancing the six prime, and now, yep, the deuce. Good deuce. I mean, I, r right now I'm rooting a little bit. For for Yoshi at least to avoid the game and just <laughs> to make it to keep it more interesting. Nothing personal against Mochi. <laughs> How much gammon do we have in this position? It's just two checkers uh, back. Two checkers I I think less less than than ten. I mean I this is really hard to see. And also, there is still uh, some points to be cleared and accidents that can happen. I, I don't think that this is gammonish at all. No, but it's about nine percent gammon rate yeah. according to XG. So not too much. Uh, did he make a clearing play here? He could have moved yeah. more pips before clearing. Yeah, yeah. Small. Ah, not, not I, I too think. Oh, actually, this was an this was an error from from Mochi. Big error, actually, sixty five millipoints. He, yeah. He, he he should have moved more pips. Just moved checkers to the ace point because that. Yeah, because more, more pips the race is still close. Yeah, that was actually a, a quite big mistake from Mochi here. Yeah, a surprising mistake actually because uh, we all think that Mochi is really uh, by far the best in all those technical plays. Uh, but uh, sometimes it's, I mean, it's a long match and sometimes you see things that are just not there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the idea of that play would be move as many pips as possible before you break your prime. Yeah. Increase your winning chances and gammon chances. So Mochi and... broke the prime a little bit too early. He gave the double six joker uh, uh. and uh, he gave... Yoshi a chance to get lucky, basically. I think his play would have been right if uh, Yoshi still had a 6 prime. And so then, of course, uh, uh, Mochi's play leaves uh, fewer shots Yeah, in, exactly. the, in the bear in bear off. But uh, once uh, Yoshi is cracked, that gives him more chances uh, in the race and also di diminishes the dangers the danger for Mochi of being hit, so then you just move the pips. Yeah, I completely agree. It depends on the opponent's position. Okay, so 18-13. Yeah, it's going to be a single. Mochi made a, an aggressive bear off uh, play with 4 3. And I just checked it, and that was the right play from, from Mochi to take two checkers off. He was fighting for the gammon. So even though it leaves him a little bit of an awkward position here, since the opponent is crunched, he has the luxury of uh, making a bold and aggressive move like this. And there's actually a big gain in gammon from making this mm. aggressive move two checkers off. 19% gammon versus 11. So that was good technique by Mochi. And are they going to take a break now? Oh, it seems so. 
Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, they're stretching. Mochi is leaving the, the room. Yoshi is stretching. Uh -huh. We have some other matches going on. We can see here in the background, in the bottom left corner, we have a webcam from uh, live from Tokyo. And uh, I, I'm not sure who the other players are. And what tournament they, they are playing. Because I believe that in the other semi-final it is... Ah, now I forgot. I forgot who was playing in the other semi-final. Anyway, we're on a break here. Uh, Dirk, I'm just going to go out and uh, grab a glass of orange juice. And uh, we're just going to let the stream roll. And be back okay. in a couple of minutes. Okay, cool. I uh, will grab something too. BackgammonGalaxy.com presents Backgammon Pro Analysis.
So are we so, on air now? Now we're on the air. So Dirk and I was just discussing the format of very long matches versus smaller matches. So Dirk, you were making some arguments. Yeah, my argument is like uh, comparing it to, to other sports, like in table tennis, they uh, shortened uh, the sets to make it more exciting and interesting. And I think the same is true for a backgammon that uh, in very long matches, uh, you have the the danger, the distinct possibility that somebody wins uh, 16 points in the first game, and in so then in the next games, the the decisions basically won't matter anymore equity wise. I mean, you can even misplay your three one on the opening roll, and uh, it's bad for your PR, but uh, hardly affects your match winning chances. So it takes uh, quite a bit uh, uh, of excitement from the spectators if that happens. I mean, if you get lucky and get into a tight match, tight match like uh, Moshi and Yoshi, then then everything is fine. But there's the distinct uh, danger, I would say. I agree with you, Dirk. That's also why we did the UBC format. That was just sets of seven point matches. Exactly to avoid, yeah. avoid this uh, this uh, feature or bug. It's actually more of a bug than a feature, I think. And also, mm -hmm. it's um, it takes so long to play one match. It's a long, long match. It's like they've been yeah. playing for four hours already. And uh, the score is 18-13. Uh, yeah. And if you want to make it an endurance contest, that's, uh, I mean, you can make it best of five, I mean, seven point matches. Yeah. So that could also take uh, a lot of time, but you have a lot more swings in the game. Like uh, spectators, I think, want to see uh, really uh, a lot of swings and decisive roles. And that adds just to, to the excitement, I would yeah, say. I agree. It's, I agree. It's important. What do you think about... Um, if you do play a long match like this, shortening the time settings, so to make it a bit more speed related. Yeah, that uh, could be, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea, especially again, uh, thinking about the spect uh, the watchers. I mean, in, uh, in a seven point match, if you use five minutes on a decision, basically you get punished immediately because then there's not so much time left anymore. But uh, in a very long match, if, if, if you invest like five minutes on a decision, which is very boring for the spectators, then, then you don't get punished in this uh, standard time setting or uh, not punished as much. Mm -hmm. So you have the incentive to really take your time, which sometimes can be a little bit boring. I agree. For everybody else, that is. <laughs> So, but but still, I think um, the best would be like um, I mean, best of uh, three, then eleven point matches, uh, best of five, seven point matches. There are so many uh, variations, and and if you play seven point matches, uh, also you you can say there are no breaks allowed. I mean, you always have your yeah. defined break after a match, mm -hmm. and so it's also better for the flow. I just because... came back from Mallorca last week, uh -huh. um, playing uh -huh. the, the speed tournament over there. And we played uh, best of three sets to five in each mm -hmm. round. And it was a triple elimination tournament. That mm -hmm. I think that format was really, really good. Because mm -hmm. even, even though you lose your first match, you, you got to win two out of three. So mm -hmm. each set has a lot of swing in it, rather than being up, as you said, 16-0 in a 21-point match. Then all the equity swing is gone. So yeah, yes, so, I, I completely agree with you, Dirk. Yeah, but this is more like uh, this also has its attract. I mean, if you are playing for PR and you're always trying to find the the best move, then then that format is fine, and it's just uh, like, uh, but. Uh, yeah, it could be a little bit more exciting the other way. That's, I think uh, almost everybody agrees nowadays, and that's why you see that in many tournaments you've got shorter matches and uh, more lives or other ways of uh, just making it a real contest, but uh, yeah, making it a little bit more swingy and exciting. 
Yes. There's also the fact that, um, okay, maybe this is a hypothesis, maybe I'm not sure in the statement that I'm about to make, but uh, your, your expected um, your expected winning chances in a given match doesn't change too much depending on the match length. If you go mm -hmm. from a 17-point match to a 25-point match, it doesn't change your winning chances all that much. If you're playing against a weaker opponent, and let's say you are a 57% favorite in a 17-point match, maybe you're a 58% favorite in a 21-point match. It's not really a lot. Whereas in a 5-point yeah. match, you're probably still 54% favorite. So playing three yeah. sets of, three sets to five actually makes you a bigger favorite than playing one match to 17. Yeah, I totally agree that uh, the same concept applies uh, also that uh, in those three lives tournament, for example, uh, the better players have uh, a better chance of success. And also, um, uh, Tendency is in, sh in in a series of shorter matches, you have just more difficult decisions, uh, like uh, because of particular scores and strategy changes from normal money game strategy, and it's just uh, I think uh, tougher. You have more tough decisions, I would say, at least uh, with a cube, because uh, in in those uh, very long matches, it's yeah, in the beginning, it's it's like money game, and then maybe later on, you have some deviations. Yeah, we in in the long matches we get though some of those uh, odd scores recubes that can be really difficult. Yeah, in absolutely. The, yeah, we don't really get that too much in the shorter matches, mm -hmm. but at, um, but we do get a lot of equity swing in the shorter matches on every single decision. And so, yeah, I would say, for example, five-point matches are too short because then uh, you have uh, too many uh, matches. Like the first game is is a gammon on a two-cube, and then it's for nothing Crawford, and already the cube is basically taken out of the game. So, yeah, you need you need to find a compromise. I would say seven-point matches, nine-point matches, something like that seems uh, for me is is the optimum yeah i agree we chose the seven point matches as the ultimate backgammon championship format exactly for those reasons five is a little bit too short it will be too many games without the cube nine it starts to become a longer match again so it's like seven mm. point is that sweet spot i think where we yeah, still me get too. interesting match play cubes but it's still a short match by the way, yeah, Dirk, are, I, you, are you planning to uh, compete in the UBC Contender Tournament in February? Yeah, I've got I've got it on my calendar. I'm just uh, already uh, looking for flights. I think if there is uh, nothing else coming up uh, for me here uh, in Germany, like uh, private stuff, then then I think I will go. Okay, it would be great to see you there. So I hope you go. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'm I'm playing on that. So uh, okay, we're ready. I think we're ready over. to go again. And actually, uh, first uh, technical mistake. He should make the two point. I think he's down in the match with six four in the opening. But uh, no big uh, equity swing. Just just a minor technical thing. Yeah, usually you want to make the deuce point when you're down in the match to increase your gammon chances. Mm. Okay, double aces. Good, Good roll. It's funny that the viewers are just increasing immediately when the match starts again. <laughs> so, now, yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, I think I would uh, go for the aggressive move there. He has a yeah, Muti, yeah, Muti has a strip midpoint, so he gets a discount on yeah, having the blood on the yeah, on yeah. the eleven point. And after all, I mean, anytime he gets a hit, he's got so many returns. Probably saw that he's only got one one checker back and wants to 
just not get a second checker back. But I, I agree with you. I, I think that's a little bit too stiff, I can say. And not, yeah. I mean, he had the momentum. And yeah, now again, now probably, I mean, what's who's ahead in the race? I mean, he really wants to, to get some action. So now he's thinking about attacking on the three and play 39. Hmm, which interesting. It's definitely yeah. not the double match point move. In double match point, you run. You, you run. But uh, I mean, it could be the right play here. Yeah. I, I like it. It's just like I, I don't have the pip count present. If the pip count is, I think uh, uh, he's not uh, really ahead in the race. I mean, at least it doesn't feel like with all those checkers on the midpoint. So, uh, I mean... Yeah, he's not even ahead in the race, so that makes it more attractive to to go for the for the big play. And since he stacked his checker the checkers in, in the move before, uh, now he has the need to unstack them again. So that's also perfect for uh, unstacking the midpoint and yeah. getting a checker on the eight point in play. I think uh, I would uh, make the aggressive play. I have the XG yeah. result right here. Okay, uh, running is actually the best play, even at this really? point. Really? Yes, you you win four percent more games by running, but it's rather okay. close. It's a twenty-eight millipoint mistake. Okay, so, so it's no big deal. Definitely, definitely a difficult decision for for Yoshi here. I think. So I that was another other interesting decision. He could have also made made the five point with all this this material in place, but he played it rather quickly, so yeah. I didn't get a chance to to think it through. I will just check it here. No, making the nine point is cl clearly superior. Clearly superior. Yeah, okay, because I was just surprised. That, so, so uh, he just had a good feeling for the right play immediately. So now all the position of some market losers. Yeah, why not keep this? I mean, take is uh, obvious and easy, but still, I think uh, he can double this. I agree. I would double as well. He has a clear edge in a priming game. And he's down in the match. Yeah. Especially that aces uh, that shot on the 12 point. Yeah. Is, uh, and is the deciding feature that he can hit with aces yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, that that Okay, that uh, adds a lot of market losers to the equation. Yeah, and take is uh, trivial. XG confirms it is a good double and also a good take. 4-5, that's a bit awkward. Yeah. So he rolled one of his market losing sequences, I guess. Definitely. Oh, Mochi is fighting back. The question is how? Yeah. Yes, yeah, always like it doesn't feel too good if you're ahead in the match and uh, uh, already owning a two cube uh, playing moves that uh, in increase the gamma chances of your opponent but what's the game plan if he what's the last three if he makes the deuce point also not not clear i think this i guess it's something like this but yeah uh, but then what, what, why not big. leave the yeah then he uh, oh I think I would settle on this in the end just because of the gammons and the other the problem with the leaving the double blot is that still your winning chances are not that great even if it works out so yeah I think I agree I didn't have time to put it into XG ok 
Okay, now we again, uh, like in the last game, but uh, the question, do you want to blitz? I think the answer is no here, but because, uh, I mean, yeah, that would have been my play. You are not that desperate. No, actually, you do have some prime value here. If Mochi can escape the four, yeah. then he's very happy that he didn't hit on the ace. Okay, the four, but now this is he, the wrong. Now he's forced to play aggressive. Mm -hmm. I think actually it's not a bad role. No, four. no, no, not at all. The four was was vital. Mm -hmm. That is still a playable role. Still playable, but he has to bury another checker. Yeah, it's a long way home for Mochi. Mm -hmm. But he did it four. Yes. <laughs> okay, that helps. <laughs> Four is really good. If Yoshi can enter, he will be a big favorite. But as it is, I think Mo Oh, okay, that's, double that is, is that's no. the worst. One of the worst. Maybe the maybe, maybe the worst. Maybe the worst. Yeah. Okay, so now blitzing is on again. Mm -hmm. I think is, mm, no hit on the three. Hit on the three and be happy. I think. Just, that looks just, I mean, especially the checker on the five point, that's the place where you want it to go. What would you say? I mean, I, I would tend to hit on the, on the three as well, but of course there is a big gain in getting the second checker behind your prime. But I think when you hit on the three point, you're going to hit that other checker so often that uh, yeah. you can just play pure and hit on the three point. Yeah, he does. Uh, I have it here in XG, so I can actually check it. If I was fast enough, I'm a little bit slow. Oh, he shouldn't even hit. Okay, we were just... Uh, ah, sorry, it changed on the plus. Uh, on, on three ply, it just play, wanted to play eight to six, no hit. But on the uh -huh. XG plus, uh, the hitting play comes back as the first one, but it's super close. Hitting on the seven okay. would be a blunder. You give okay. up too much prime value by hit us. Yeah, yeah, and you, 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 you give your opponent an out by by hitting uh, one blood, and then you you dance, and uh, uh, or the the other guy dances, and you hit the other blood, and you can move your checkers around. So just too dangerous mm -hmm. as well. So this is also interesting. Um, going for the second checker or securing the three point first. Classic decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how? Okay, we should have a Facebook vote again. Let's see the like button if you want to cover the, the three point first, and the heart button if you want to hit the second checker. Let's see what the crowd says. Okay. Okay. Still waiting for the crowds to come in. Uh, okay, we have the XG here. It's uh, making the three point is better with four millipoints according to XG plus. So uh, it's a okay, so borderline just, decision. It was a wash. So. Yeah. Both plays were very constructive. Okay, Mochi okay. has the anger. That saves a lot of gammons. Yeah, but fives already, I mean, have to run. So yeah. I think Mo, uh, Yoshi should stick back with his last checker, at least for a while, in, somewhere in the outfield. I agree. It's like yeah, a trap yeah. play position. Yeah. He wants to make the trap play here. He's hoping Mochi to roll the five to open up his anger and uh, uh, see yeah. if he can win a gammon. Four, three. So slot the eight. I, slot the ace maybe I just just agree. just keep the yeah yes good play yoshi yeah but uh, mochi is yeah. not compliant yeah make the ace keep your checkers back mm. yeah i think yeah. that's okay uh, now he keeps a little bit more flexibility. 
So should he clear the eight point now? Prop uh, no with three one he cannot do it. Um, I think it's six three uh, thirteen twelve. So double f double fives. Uh, what he's going to do with double fives then, Mochi? Yeah, I mean, oh, that's too oh, much. Oh, oh, oh. That's too much. He could clear it. I mean, I don't think it's out of the yeah. question oh, okay. to clear. But... Yeah, clearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see that uh, Mochi already opened up his board for. Yeah, yeah. And, and just leave one blot. Just leave one. Like blot. that's uh, definitely a play. It's this like play. playing. Uh, yeah, this play. Yeah, because of the I think that's and the crunch. That's that's best because he now uh, Yoshi really wants Mochi to leave. Yeah, I, I thought Mochi still had a three-point board, but like this. You have to break the eight point. Yeah, very good. Very I think good. Think it's a good play as well. Yeah, many players overlook those. Yeah, and there's the five. Place. The trap is working. And yeah. now it just needs to shut in on him and trap him with the close art. Okay, that's the ace. Mm. So diversifying the yeah maximum. The shots on the second plot, I think, is uh, the dominant. Oh, crucial! But it might still be the gammon trap luring. Yeah. Oops. Oh, defense! Yeah. What a swing! So now it's just wow. uh, Mochi. What a uh, from Mochi. Okay, so that, yeah, now it's only the question, can Mochi turn this around? But the uh, Gammons went out of the window. Yeah. They were a very real danger for a couple of rolls, but Great again. Great save from Mochi. Yeah, he still, still is alive. He's still alive, Three, yes. Four. That's true. So I guess you just play yeah. 13 to 6, right? Yeah, I, I agree with that play. Maximize builders. There's the deuce. Yeah. Now he doesn't want to fan again. He fans. But he does. <laughs> if Mochi gets the six now, oh, oh no. okay. he has to break the yeah. three point. Yes. You don't want to leave gaps. So now Yoshi is in command again. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the PRs, but uh, for the time that we've been watching, the, I think both players have played uh, extremely well. Yeah. We haven't seen... I, I, I agree. I, I haven't seen anything where I thought, no, that... I mean, those that one technical mistake, uh, but uh, anything else. I haven't seen Yoshi make any mistakes yet, I think. Uh, he, and he actually had some tough decisions. A lot of close plays. And uh, Mochi, we've just seen Mochi make that technical play. But we don't have the full XG analysis. We're just checking positions sporadically. But I think there's a guy sitting on the next to the board transcribing the match. So hopefully we can we can uh, post the match file after the match. Yes, so this is a closeout. And... Uh, Dirk, what is uh, what is your guess on the winning chances of Mochi in this position, with one checker on the board? Uh, one checker, uh, two and a half percent. I don't know, two, 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 something, two and a half, yeah, or three. I, I'm really bad on those uh, as estimates, but what do you think? Uh, I'm putting it into XG, but I want to make a guess before I click the. Okay, assuming this position here with the spare checkers. So if you freeze yeah. in time. Yeah, I would probably say somewhere between two and three percent. So let's say two point mm. forty. Yeah, I said two and a half. So you said two and a half. Yeah. Okay, so I go under. <laughs> uh, you go under. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> let's see. Uh, three point six percent. Uh huh. Okay. So so we were both wrong by a mile. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and you see why? <laughs> yes. It's the combination of uh, freak shots and uh, race equity. If Mochi yeah. has a, a quick double six, he can still win this game, even though he was in a closeout. Okay, now 
it's 18.15, so it's 10 away, 7 away. So we are now... We've had uh, Jad Abdallah writing us the match equities at each score, which was a good help. Oh, Dirk? Uh, I I had some connect. I don't know if, yeah, if it too. was you or me. Yeah. I had some connection because problems as well. Uh, I, I have no problems in watching the stream, so uh, it must be Skype, I guess. It could be Skype or it could be something on my end. Uh, I think actually the connection to the live stream just stopped. Okay, really? I, I think it's back now. I, I don't know why. Uh, it, it could be my, my internet connection is usually really good. But uh, okay, I think we're back now. The yeah, I, I haven't been gone at all, so um, I hope we are still synchronized. So I see the 6-1 now that is played. Okay, you're a bit ahead of me now. Okay, shall I pause a little bit? Uh, no, actually, just uh, if you can just take the mouse and just drag it all the way to the right to the f so you're in the fastest feet, because I, that's what I did, and then it kept up. Now it's at a double three for your yeah. ship. And his clock yeah. is taking 50, 49, 48, Yeah, uh, yeah we, are, we are synchronized again. Okay, yeah. good. Just had some technical problems. Oh, double, opening double three for, for Yoshi oh. here. He's down in the match, so that is a great argument for the offensive play. Yeah, and he makes the yeah. offensive play. That looks right yeah. to me. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I mean, especially he's already like very close to a cube. Uh, he should have thought about it, or maybe he just knows his position. So <laughs> I'm just the old-fashioned thinker, but uh, yeah. he's getting very close. Okay, this is nothing. Okay. Okay, now all the volatility has gone out of the game, so... so. Uh, that yeah. position, Moshi, uh, Yoshi missed a big cube before. Yeah. It was a blunder, I, not I, a cube, and it's actually, it was actually a pass. So that was the the position where I uh, uh, where I rambled about being a thinker or not, or yeah. where he just uh, which one uh, are you talking about? Where before uh, uh, Mochi got his his anchor? Yes, or... exactly. When he was still yeah. when he still had two checkers on the twenty four yeah. point. That was a, a blunder, not a cube, and a pass actually. Mm. Okay, I, I'm surprised about the pass, not at all about the double, but uh, I think uh, Yoshi has, has got still plenty of time, or how much time has he got left? Because... One and a half minute. Oh, no, he doesn't have time at all. So then that, yeah. so that's, I'm, I'm always uh, preaching play fast in the beginning of a match because anyhow, it's not equity wise it doesn't matter a lot just in case you get into complicated decisions when when it really matters so wow, um he, six is from mochi. yeah 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 mochi <laughs> is 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 really knows how to deal with primes yeah <laughs> so but i think that is a good example to um to my point, but so that he just rolled without even considering. So now I think uh, the only question for Mochi is, uh, can he continue rolling? No, I think not. 
And since the winning percentage must be really low for uh, Yoshi, even being down in the match, it it really doesn't look takeable. But because how many games? Yeah, yeah, I think it's correct. I mean, what you want uh, is uh, Germanish position or positions where you have uh, uh, like uh, at least twenty five percent winning chances. So there's. Uh, you 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 have a chance to to get in an eight cube or something, and not these positions where your winning chances are really low. Yeah, it was uh, a correct redouble and a borderline pass for Yoshi. Mm -hmm. He had just below twenty percent winning chances, so it was actually a borderline decision. The race was just seven pips in favor of mm -hmm. Mochi, and the double sixes, by the way, was also correct from Mochi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in anticipation of uh, uh, a strong recube, he yeah. didn't need to attack. Okay, so this is a fairly standard opening sequence. Yeah, yeah. Very, very good for Mochi, already have secured the anchor, so that's always what you want to strive for when, when leading in a match. Here's a decision. Do you yeah. come down with two and play flexible, or do you just I play safe? I think it's too much. I think I would play like this. Yeah. I mean, with the three-point board. Yeah, it's also a bit early in the game to to strip the midpoint. It's very useful that checker, spare checker on the midpoint. We get to see that now exactly at this moment, when he wants to hit that outfield shot, he has the spare checker to do it. So now we are in standard holding game territory, and uh, there's it's it's not a big enough racing lead to consider doubling. Okay, good shot, Yoshi. Yoshi. Uh, better shot, uh -huh. Mochi. <laughs> so now we gotta count the race, Dick. Yeah, it was uh, close to not uh, i think yoshi was slightly ahead before and now it should be pretty much even just yeah if you that's 10 pips yeah it's just uh mochi was ahead by a couple of pips but uh, yoshi was on road so we have a dead even race going on here yeah okay for sure mochi had a, had the pip count uh, in his mind So now it's, uh, I think, three pips something for yeah, Yoshi. Exactly, three pips for Yoshi. So not enough, especially since um, in, in a race uh, you don't need to adjust your cube strategy a lot because of the score. This time it's one pip, and it's it's not a blunder to cube here, but uh, oh, it's actually just a just a, a blunder if uh, Yoshi were to double. Yeah. What about now? Uh, it's yeah. Still, it's still one pip. It's still not enough, right? No, not not at all. I mean, the only advantage that Yoshi has, I mean, he's he's a favorite, but uh, after doubling, the cube is uh, pretty close to dead for Mochi, so that is. Uh, might be a reason to double more aggressively on Yoshi's side than than for money, but now after the six five, there is great shot. Nothing, nothing's going on here. Oh, double double three. Okay. For one now, we have to count again. Uh huh. He has four checkers off, right? I think so. I seven. Yeah, four checkers off. Four checkers off. It's got to be a cube. Yeah. No, wait. Sorry, he's down in the race. No, no, no. He's so, so it's not a cube. Sure. You're sure he was down in the race? It ah, didn't... sorry. No, he's up three pips. He uh, was up, uh, and now, now he lost his market probably. Yeah. Mm, I think he. I don't know if he didn't have a double before. If he was up he, three pips and oh, more checkers off. It wasn't a double before. 
it oh, wasn't was a, okay no, it wasn't a double before so emoji passes let's see this cube uh oh sorry it could ex I, I made a mistake in the xg yeah, i had the yeah. wrong player on roll so i don't know if he missed a double or not i but, i but think so one, but uh, this one is definitely a pass it's yeah. uh mochi has only had 17 and a half percent winning chances mm. in this position the pip count was nine pips up for for yoshi so Okay, now we are in the nine point match for nothing. So, still, like, what's the equity for, for Mochi? Like, uh, yeah, we need, I don't know, 72% or something. We need Jad Abdallah to come in in the Facebook chat here. He's been doing that the entire time. So, what are we? We are nine away, five away. Yeah, it's twenty-seven and a half percent winning chances for Yoshi. Yeah, so so seventy-two was a yeah good approximation. So, mm -hmm. but uh, just ch Yoshi's chances have gone up, and that sh should be a cube, I think. Yeah, one checker yeah. escape. Yeah, yeah. Good cube. I agree. Yeah, he's down in the match. He needs to double aggressively and positions that might lead to a gammon and this is definitely one of them yeah we can check the cube action yeah it's a good cube and a good take great right, roll right in the middle of the doubling doubling window oh yeah double threes that's huge and mochi is in trouble here mm -hmm. well-timed double for uh or well-timed cube from yoshi Just before he lost his market, he got the cube in. Is that the right game plan? Good question. If I'm fast, I can check it. Yeah, uh, because there was also the possibility playing um, 17, 11, 39, just bringing builders down. And uh, yeah. because uh, the, 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 one, the lone checker wasn't in such big danger at getting trapped, it seemed. Uh, and now he has like some ugly rolls, like 2 1, 4 1, and I, I didn't like the step out. It was actually a complete wash. Okay. <laughs> It's uh, it's the it's the move that wins more games. The move that uh, Yoshi makes uh, made. Uh -huh. Okay. But it wins slightly less uh, gammon. Yeah. Which makes sense. Usually the double match point moves are the ones where you jump out, try to achieve yeah. freedom. By the way, there it is. Years. What? I know. Oh, yeah, he can come in with the one. Uh, uh, sorry, I overlooked. I was uh, just uh, yeah, still too early. It seems. No, everything is fine. Sam so. Puddle says always run in the chat. Puzzle's okay. law. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think he is not going to make it to the books with his law. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now it's close. Good shot from Mochi. Yeah. Closing in on the five point board. Uh, yeah, there's not much sense in playing with, with flexibility. Ooh, that's a oh, bad one. Bad shot, yeah. And so now, we, again, the question uh -huh. is, uh, do you change your game plan? I don't think so. I don't think so either. And here it's like sort of scary to expose two blots for Yoshi. So that's why he's reluctant to do that because he's, but the deuces are duplicate. I think he has to continue to play flexible. No, that's yeah. yeah that's, he's really paranoid. I think with this, uh, it's it's just too paranoid. I think. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what I said. I mean, it's yeah. it's scary, but uh, yeah. I mean, you, we all saw it happen before that you get blitzed, and then there are the other blots the opponent can pick up. But it's it's a long way for Mochi to do that. So, and he needs to maintain his flexibility. Yeah, it's a blunder to play stiff here. Yeah, good play. Half a blunder on XG+. Plus. Uh, yeah, good play. And... 
There's the six. Okay, don't let any numbers hit you, so... I agree. And don't waste time on that ace. Yeah. Very good that he pressed the clock because he's really short on time, so... Yeah, he's down to three three minutes and yeah. ten seconds now. Mochi is only, ha only has four minutes and 16 seconds left as well. Both yeah, players that's... are hard-pressed on time here. Yes. So, actually, they are doing us a favor by that, so that gives, gives uh, more fast pace action. True. So, uh, what were the time original time uh, settings, do you know? Did they get uh, 50 minutes or...? I think it was 50 minutes, yes. Yeah. So, it was a great decision to, to come in and start the transmission three hours in <laughs> <laughs> after they burned off their time bank. Another quiz question, Dirk. Uh, what's the gammon chances here? Uh, gammon chances here, maybe 50, uh, 15, maybe. Not more than 15, I would say. Uh, now it's more, but you asked me the question before. Yes. <laughs> Again, we see the trap, the trap play. The gammon trap. Okay, and again, a big swing coming up. This time, uh, Mochi has a four-point board, so if uh, if he hits, uh, Yoshi might be in real trouble. Yeah, then the gammon rates go up to 40% if he gets the close out here with two checkers. So Mochi really wants to enter with an ace. Defense. No, not not this time, and all the numbers are Ooh, diversified, So, yeah. but uh, that's bad news for Yoshi because now the gamut's dropped again to below 10%. Yes, that was Good. actually a horrible shot, double fives. Yeah, not much gamut in it. The, the, the gamut rates, um, Dirk, when I asked you, was uh, 17%. 17 even, yeah. yeah. Just after uh, Yoshi cleared the seven point. Oh. Which, by the way, was incorrect with a small. Okay. Ah, yeah, it's very, small. very small. It was okay. 10 millipoint on XG. Plus. It just became smaller. No big deal. Okay, and we will be entering the seven-point match uh, shortly. So now we are in familiar territory. Yeah. And it's just a speed gammon match, more or less. Yes, almost. Mm -hmm. Seven away, five away. So Mochi's winning chances have gone down to like 63 maybe 63 is that correct let me just check it seems that Jad Abdallah has left the chat so we need to check it ourselves one moment match equity table so now we're seven away five away so it's 37 percent uh, 63 Yoshi. okay so 63. okay 63 63 for Mochi and 37 for for Yoshi. So now... Uh -huh. <coughs> uh, yes, I like that play. Yeah, Mochi. that's really good. Making the two point is, I think... Uh, yeah, it's too deep. Not too deep uh, with... 6-5, also a great shot. No, Six, one. Not, any, not anymore. No. <laughs> Five one, so gotta come in with the ace and down with the four. Uh huh. Yeah. So far, except for the double fours, uh, I mean Yoshi's plays were more or less uh, forced. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what about this one? That's uh, the making making the point is the what, what what is the, the alternative? Making the eight point, which clears no. up the blood on the fourteen. Yeah, but I mean. Uh, and with the the juices are, are duplicate. I, th I like the the bar point. I think playing uh, uh, 
having all, I mean, so much more valuable. And uh, since uh, Yoshi doesn't have anything, I mean, for me, it looks like uh, this is a perfect uh, situation to play a little bit more risky. I, yeah, I agree. I like I, I, I like, like that play as well. Yeah. But there was something good about uh, 14 to 8, 6 to 4 as well. Yeah, okay. 5, 4. four. No. That's a bit awkward. Uh, maybe 14, 9, 8 to 4. Uh, I think that's my play. Yeah. Uh, even Just though it's... Uh, you. You don't want to put oh, you don't want to put that dilly builder on the yeah but, on but the giving, up the, giving up the giving up the I didn't no, like that not, no not at all I'm too early to give up the midpoint yeah I think so and the, the, leaving a shot there is yeah. just super yeah yeah no, yeah I think that was a, a I would be surprised if that wasn't a big mistake so is there any cube action near I mean with the two checkers isolated if he makes the the four point. Mm. I'm trying to be fast to set it up. So now I th think uh, Yoshi should strongly consider cubing. Actually, it was just a small mistake uh, from Mochi. No big deal. Yeah, just no big nine, deal. Okay, so millipoints. I'm surprised, but uh, okay, so. So this uh, is, is a classic cube, I would say, Mark. Oh, he, oh let me check if I'm, I need to be fast. No, I'm not really. Doesn't he have to switch or do something? Put something on the oh, bar he here. Switch. Yeah, he can switch. He didn't see it. <laughs> oh, now, now Mochi has all the numbers to make. I, I mean, that was the first one where, where I really thought, wow, this yeah. this guy. He did miss a small cube. And uh, he didn't, didn't he did. either the switch is really... Yes, and he missed the switch. The switch is a clear play. It's a blunder not to switch. It's a big blunder, actually. Yeah. It's, uh, I... it's like a 183 mistake not to switch. Yeah. So yeah, Moshe and... just missed a cube and he missed out on a, a huge play here, the switching play. Yeah, and, and why is that so? Because at some point early in the match, he wasted his time. I'm sure about it, although I haven't seen it. But uh, I think, uh, I mean, you see also his movements. It's all very fast and uh, like you really, uh, he, he, you can see he's in tri time trouble and uh, gets gets punished. I agree. It's uh, He's definitely in time trouble. And uh, it's the first big blunder we've seen from uh, from Yoshi. And it was just like an more like an oversight. He, he was just not. Uh... And let me check that cube. I think I got the position right, but I'm not completely sure. Uh, okay, if if I got the position right, this was a take. By, okay. By 80 melee points. Okay, but I I, I don't blame him uh, for that because I mean what he couldn't do is uh, think it through because of his uh, uh, lack of time. So he just had to make uh, had to make a decision. So yeah. Uh, I I also probably if I had looked at it uh, three minutes more, I still wouldn't have known. So. Okay, so he now. They're on a break. How, how 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 many breaks do they have actually? I don't know. But uh, it seems that uh, Mochi is standing by a computer. I don't think this is the transcription computer. I think the transcription computer is on the other side here, mm -hmm. on on the right side of the board. This gray laptop. Um, so the transcriber just left the room as well. I'll try to write Mochi if. Uh, he, he could somehow tell the transcription guy to send us the match mm -hmm. on Facebook.
Okay, so I guess uh, time to get some more drinks, or I yeah. don't know how long are they taking a break. Mochi, Mochi is still standing by the board. He doesn't really look like a guy who wants to have a break. Probably just Yoshi had to go to the bathroom or something. Yeah, and uh, I think it's also um, good for Yoshi to take a break to calm down a little bit after all this uh, action. And probably he was, maybe even, you never know, maybe he saw it uh, the second after he pressed the clock that he could have switched or i mean yeah. you you cannot tell and then that is really a big uh, impact on your psyche or at least i have trouble with when i see in hindsight a big mistake of mine uh, and uh, it, it follows me the whole match so yes. uh, so uh, if you can take a break and uh, just try to get rid of it a little bit but uh, we are just, uh, or I am just uh, speculating. I mean, maybe he even he still is unaware of of that uh, over over. I call it an oversight because I would bet uh, I would lay odds uh, if you put that uh, position as a quiz position for Yoshi, uh, he would have found the right play. I agree. I'm pretty con pretty confident about yeah. that. Especially the level of play we've seen from him so far. Yeah, and uh, his B map uh, ranking is really, really strong as well. I think he's like a three point two or something on B map. Mm -hmm. So Yoshi is definitely a, a so, very strong grandmaster. And is he traveling a lot? I I have seen uh, when I haven't been traveling a lot myself. But is he going to international tournaments or is he yes. more based in Japan? He is more based in Japan, but he does go to some international tournaments once or twice a year, as far as I know. I've met him in Gibraltar twice, mm -hmm. I believe. I I hope he's gonna come to Gibraltar this year as well to play uh, the UBC 2020 mm -hmm. Contender Tournament and Gibraltar Open. Um, and I know that uh, at the moment he quit his job just to become a professional backgammon teacher in Japan. Okay, cool. So, so uh, really great serious. to hear. Great to hear that there is a, a market for teaching in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just checking his. Uh, he's actually ranked six in the world at the moment in BMAP with a PR average of three point seventeen. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, it's really great. Yeah. So let's look at the clock. Uh, Mochi has got 254 versus 228. 228, okay. So did we miss anything crucial here? I don't think so. No. Uh, so Mochi can I, come in on the deuce and the make deuce the and, Yeah. It looks right to me. Yeah, he shouldn't okay. waste time on that one again. No. Yeah. <laughs> he consolidates his position. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good Seems move. Seems to be correct. Me. Six two. This goes to show why the coming out play was better because now Mo Yoshi has a double shot when Mochi tries to escape, and he gets and the shot. And he hits it with a. Yeah, he doesn't really have any reduces, even though it's a bit stiff. Four six Mochi. Yeah, Mochi is still up in the race. I think. Do you think? I don't think so. It more it's looks mean, like pretty much even. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it is quite even. Uh, but even in an even race, it's got to be right for Mochi. Yeah. Yeah. Out. Absolutely. That's uh, his uh, biggest goal was to escape with, with that last checker. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So this is a holding game with an even race. Oof! That's a great shot from. Is that the best play here from Mochi yeah okay okay I see yeah. it yeah I think it's good yeah. my first yeah. inclination was to make the bar point but uh, I think this is a better play yeah yeah I mean he's got all the builders to to make another point in the next roll I th I still think he he's n is he far ahead far enough to to double uh, it's up he's up four pips before this move no 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 then not at all because yeah. um, Actually, in holding games, uh, not too many people know it. 
uh, when your opponent is far away, you have to pass more. So uh, contra contrary to uh, the gut feeling here in holding game, holding games and races, Yoshi has to be more conservative with taking cubes. Yes. That extra point from going from four away to three away is not worth much. Yeah. That's why he should pass more. That's correct. He only is entitled to take more in Germanish positions because of the recube cube big and okay, double fives. Double fives. Now um now it's gonna be a cube next time. Yeah. But uh, that should be still very easy take. I mean, can he, if he clears the nine point, isn't it that, uh, uh, at least for money... Uh, it's 14 pips. Uh, no, 12 pips. It's just 12 pips. So, no, yeah, I, I wouldn't double it because you can clear the nine point and then still uh, uh, your opponent will have a borderline decision because of the... No, that's too early, I think. But Mochi knows that uh, his the take uh, Yoshi's take point is 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 higher. So it but is uh, it is a, a good cube from uh, Mochi. It's a twenty-two millipoint error, not to do cube. It's not no big deal. And can you look it up for money just just to see the comparison? Yeah, it's a take for money as well because the winning chances is just seventy-two percent. Yeah. Okay. So in money play, it's in money play. It's a borderline no double. Yeah, that's what what yeah. I'm saying. Too. So the, the actually at that score, uh, uh, Mochi can be a little bit more liberal in in holding games uh, with the cube. Mm -hmm. And then we get a double six from Yoshi. Now yeah, just to the race. And uh, Yoshi has to be very aggressive with three cubes, I think, or. So I don't know what's the race now. It was an even race. So it was an even race. So it was correct not to recube from Yoshi. So now it's seven. Oh, now so then now it has to be a, a recube, I guess. I think so. Yeah. This is uh, three pips for Yoshi. Uh, Okay, let's see some hearts for everyone who wants to recube here, and some angry faces if you don't want to recube. Yeah. So he does recube. Uh, let's see what the crowd says. If you're gonna have hearts or angry faces coming in. Yeah. From me, put a heart from me. <laughs> So far, we are only getting hearts, and uh, <laughs> we're only getting hearts. Nobody wants to not double, so I will be a uh, what do you call it? Like uh, the guy who comes in and destroys the party, because this is actually a no double. I know okay. The, I know the caption is a little bit small here on my uh, screen, but it's a sixteen uh, millipoint mistake to to redouble here but if you're playing against mochi it's probably a good redouble and a huge take it did take mochi some time here to yeah. figure out that was a take he burned off half the half the time in his time bank okay now it could be over so it could be over yeah let's see the winning chances oops they are both Trying to make it a long race. <laughs> two one, that's horrible. That's the third two one in a row. So if okay, yeah, six he's one. A, he's a big favorite now to win the game. Uh, uh, Yoshi, eighty percent favorite. Ooh, not anymore. Oops. Not anymore. Now he's a 60% favorite to win the game. Oh, that's a strong yeah, shot again. That's that's big, yeah. Ha ha ha, double force. I guess it's a good roll, double force, isn't it? Even though you don't yeah. get to check, get, take any checkers off. Yeah, problem is you might uh, have another miss roll with a f another miss with a four since you are yeah. even. I so. mean, you don't spend time on this. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. That 
that's the biggest mistake you can do yeah yeah absolutely uh, and, oh there's the miss so now it's really looking good for yoshi and good for the spectators that is 88 percent favorite yoshi okay yeah what else Huh? So Yoshi is a 97% favorite here. Yeah, there and it is. 100%. There it is. So now it's four way, three away. Yoshi is taking the lead for the first time that I. Yeah. So I'm for watching. practical purposes, this was probably a really, really good recue from from Yoshi. He's playing against the number one player in the world. And he got Mochi to, to burn off half his time bank, thinking about the take, yeah. even though it was a big take. Yeah, but it really takes time to figure it out. I mean, even even for Mochi. And since it was a crucial decision, uh, it makes sense to invest some of your time, because maybe if you get lucky, you won't need any more time anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, slot, yeah. Nice play, Mochi. Yeah, Mochi. and you can see he know he knows uh, those plays. It's ah, just what about like... this one? This one is interesting. Uh, this is like a I decision. would I would I would make the the five point definitely. Yeah, I I like it. I like it. I mean, against three checkers. Is it that? Uh, is it that obvious? No, it's not obvious, but uh, it, it feels like uh, against three checkers, sending the fourth checker back is not... And the five point is really crucial to, to bring this, this game home. So I, I like the play, but I wouldn't lay big odds or anything. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, okay, it's super close. It's super close, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's actually hitting. Okay, on XG plus hitting comes out ahead. Okay. It's a 24, 25 uh, era uh, Yoshi's play. So hitting was a little bit better. It reminds uh, could me. It be, could, it, could it be because uh, uh, hitting decreases the gammons, and now it's Yo Yoshi who wants to avoid the gammonish situations. If both players make their five points. That means an increase in gamuts, and if yeah. if your opponent is far away, then you d don't like that. Uh, don't like to see that. And you also increase your own gammon wins by hitting, because you send, okay. send the fourth checker back, and you do lose 0.4 less gammon than uh, with the with the. So it wasn't uh, really significant. Then my the my reference is the the three one uh, opening reply versus double one opening reply. Where with huh? double one you make the five and the seven, with three one you hit the slot on the on the opponent's five point. Mm -hmm. But here he couldn't make the five and the seven because of the advanced anger. So it was more like a three one opening problem where I know hitting is better. So that was just the logic I, I used. Yeah. yeah, good logic. Yeah. Would have led to the right play. Okay, so now Mochi is in thinking territory already because that is um, um, yeah, it starts to get uh, gammonish. For yeah. example, I think dancing is a market loser now. From it with probably, this, okay, that's not a market loser. No, uh, you don't want to expose more blots, right? Yeah, just so like eight this. to six. Yeah, and uh, I mean, can he the double 20... this mochi? I mean, he should have considered before. Before it was, he had a stronger position. I think. Okay. Now he has the force checker back, and now maybe is the time to step out and run for safety okay so nothing happening here from the cube wise i think at least yeah diego doesn't want to double uh, a contact position at this score it's such an easy take from mochi here yeah i mean and also you can um maybe uh, just bring the blood home to safety and 
still uh, then then it's still a take. I'm just thinking about the market losers. So yes, so. exactly. So that makes it uh, a no double, I believe. Mm -hmm. Still, you better try to get scramble home first, and then the, you should have a strong double if the, you succeed. And if you don't, uh, then you are happy the cube is in the center. Okay, Mochi Ella Yoshi enters. And yeah. 39, good, good shot. Good play and good shot. Yeah. I'm just getting a message from uh, one of the viewers saying that the game started with Mochi winning a Gammon at a 4-cube. So he was okay. leading 8-0 after game 1. So maybe in that game is where they left all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Uh, this, this is just no four to one. It's it with four checkers back. I mean, you just cannot dump a checker on the on the ace. Yeah. Okay, three, two. Oh, there's 13-8. It's an option. That's the most flexible play. Yeah. But it leaves that uh, that sh fly shot on the midpoint. Yeah, yeah. And he, he and now he's down, he, is he down to a minute now? I mean. Ah, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I mean. Uh, okay, I mean, I think... Hitting would be a good play with a three if he just had a five to play, but he yeah, doesn't. Yeah. So he has to come yeah, out, I guess. Uh, he, oh, he, he does doesn't. hit. Yeah, oh. but... Uh, yeah. Was that, okay, was that's that a reward. It, it wasn't, wasn't my first instinct. I, I would have run out to just uh, seize uh, outfield control. I think I would have oh. done that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now that is very ah. interesting. Okay, and that is, uh, I like the speed of the cube. Just yeah. don't give your opponent any time. And with, uh, I mean, with with the Gammons winning you the match, it's it's really tough for your opponent. But he has to t make a decision, Yoshi. Yeah. yeah. You have to make a decision. I mean, the more time he burns, the more take it becomes. Yes. <laughs> and uh, according to XG plus, wait, I'm just going to plus plus this. Do something now you have to take almost. <laughs> XG plus plus says it's a pass with 80 millipoints. Okay, he does find the pass. He spends almost half of his remaining time bank. But he does is, find the right play, yeah. which is to pass this cube. It so now we have an, a three point match and no time, which yes. is really the best what we could hope for uh, so before. The position, uh, Mochi was a 59% favorite, winning 27% Gammon. Mm -hmm. so, and this was a pass. So that's because of the score, the dramatic four away, three away score. So yeah, three away, three away. So, so Mochi's play worked. I mean, hitting there. I mean, for sure he had also the Germans in mind if things go well for him. But I mean, yeah. that was uh, just such a good sequence. So now we are in a three-point match, and that means both players uh, should double a little bit more aggressively and oh, take a little, take a little bit more conservatively. Uh, so now uh, Mochi is okay. Mochi getting goes for the running play here. Yeah, play. that's that's yeah. Doesn't it? It doesn't look like it's it's needed to to step out there. I mean, eight to four with two checkers really looks looks strong. But. Yeah, I, I think so as well. I'm trying to be fast here to check it because I would probably have made uh, the yeah, five but, and the four point. But 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 he had the cube in mind, so he thought uh, yeah. there's a. 
That's true. And there's the cube. There is the cube. Good cube from Mochi. Okay, Mochi's play was best by a qu quite significant margin. See that? So good play, probably, Mochi. yeah, probably because he doesn't need to increase volatility because in the most common variation he will get to a good cube. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. And uh, the cube action was a small double from Mochi and a big take from Yoshi. The race was just six pips in Mochi's favor. Aha, for one. Yeah, that was just not a good yep. good option. No good option. Yeah. So now, yeah. Con it was a blunder from Mochi to hit on the ace point. Okay. Uh, oh wait, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Did he have a did he have a spare chamber yeah. on the midpoint? No, uh, he didn't. I he didn't. I, he didn't. Yeah. So he would have had to. I, I think he had to leave a shot he anyhow. Had to slot. Yeah. Okay. No. He, so, so hitting on the ace point was better by a small mm -hmm. margin. Okay. So this is a, a, a mutual holding game, very race oriented position. Yeah. Oh, six five. That's now he has, has to count quickly. <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of the speed gammon tournament in Mallorca, where you have to make these race decisions. Seems like Yoshi is ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Yoshi was ahead 15 pips. So Mochi did a great job doing a quick speed count. Mochi is down to 48 seconds. What about Yoshi? Is it 36 seconds? Twenty-seven uh, seconds. Twenty-seven. Oh, okay, so he already spent nine seconds. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Now Mochi has to do it in order to not burn checkers. Bury checkers. And um, just just a side note: uh, shouldn't when he uh, when the dice are caught, can't they press the clock and give uh, give them I the think pilot? so. Yeah, because I think uh, so. That's the standard we, rules these days. And it's it makes sense. Um, okay, let's ask the audience uh, who are they cheering for. Let's have a let's have a heart if you cheer for uh, Mochi, and let's have a like if you cheer for Yoshi. Because this is really close now. Horrible shot, Mochi, two one. Okay, six four. Now the race is yeah about even. I mean, uh, Yoshi ahead and Mochi on roll. Yeah. Okay, it seems to be quite even between uh, Mochi fans and Yoshi fans among the audience. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, More Yoshi fans. Okay, Roberto Litzenberger is cheering for Yoshi. Aha. Uh -huh. That could be a pass already. Ooh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, pass, the take the, the take point is higher because uh, you don't have any recubes and you have now twenty five point five percent on the match. So you. Uh, yeah. 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 You have it. Yeah. You need exactly twenty five percent to take. Yeah. So it's even a little bit than, more. Even yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. So it's a, it's a huge pass. That was a big win for Yoshi in that race. Yeah. So now he's a big favorite. Uh, according to XG, it's actually very close to 25%. Uh -huh. uh, he has to come out now, Mochi, and, and win two games in a row. For two. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, maybe it's not easy. <laughs> Usually, actually making a point is better than hitting loose. But in yeah. this position, I think I would prefer yeah. hitting loose because of yeah, the tempo. Yeah, me too. Me too. You are an uh, important point. You are not worried of uh, wow. getting gammoned uh, and also not worried of winning a gammon. Mm -hmm. That was a great so, shot, Mochi. Double aces. And he correctly, correctly chooses not to hit, but just to make the beautiful four prime. 
Mochi really wants to hit now. Double five, that's a terrible shot. Yeah. Ah, it's not terrible, but he, yeah, for sure he wanted to hit a checker. Yeah, there was best better better rolls available. Yeah. So now... Uh, no, I think Yoshi should just play super flexible here. It's, no, yeah, 6-4, 39. 6-4 is better, right? Yeah, 6-4, yeah, 39. I mean, it's more what flexible. are you afraid of? I mean, this... Yeah. Uh, he plays the... Oh, a double three. He still can't move his back checkers. Yeah, he Yoshi. should make the two point probably to maintain uh, contact or... So. Yeah. yeah. And actually, yeah. He's, he's, too, he's too advanced now in the race in order to go for a priming game. So making yeah. the deuce point goes more into yeah. a, a race and a blitzing game plan. No, I don't like that one. That uh, abundance. Yeah. Connect. Yeah, the, very good play. I think at least. Okay, very good roll, making a point. Uh, yeah, the bar. Bar is best. You're playing for prime. And yeah. So this is really exciting because of the time travel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Super exciting. Oh, great shot. Now we are in this mutual holding game position again. Six, two. Okay, so Mochi is going to lose the outfield control, but at least he has a consolidated position. Yeah. So and who's the favorite here, Dirk? Who is the favorite? Uh, it feels, I think, uh, the more I think, I like... Uh, uh, Mochi has got the better anchor, and yeah, I think uh, Mochi might be the favorite here. I don't know if if he's yeah. I feel like I mean, he has it, it would would have would have been great uh, if he could have come out from the five point and uh, now uh, Yoshi gets the outfield. I mean, I think it's slam dunk. Mm -hmm. Outfield control play. Yeah. Yes. Now Mochi has the edge. Yoshi, you mean? Oh, or? I'm sorry, Yoshi. Yoshi has the edge. Yeah. Uh, but Mo but Mochi is ahead in the race, I would say. Uh -huh. That was a great shot. Yes. Yeah, he should be blocking. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. When the, when the race is close, you need to be blocking. Especially soon, uh, Mochi will have to break his board. Yeah. Right, so what is the race here? It's super crucial. Looks like very close. Eighteen pips for Mochi in the outfield. Six. Oh, double sixes! I, I think that the Mochi was up six pips before this double six. So now the race is eighteen pips in Yoshi's favor. So do and you Mochi play now? Twenty fifteen. Um, I mean, this is difficult. Breaking, breaking the board and losing more ground in yeah, the race is also horrible. like. Wow, this is a tough decision. You don't want to break your board, but you both want yeah. to keep the anger. Uh, okay, now... Uh, that was a borderline yeah. decision, actually, whether to come out or break the board. Yeah, that four, is five. almost... So now if Mochi doesn't hit, he's in real trouble. Yeah, he needs to hit. He does hit. Yeah, he does hit. So we wow. we are hitting for, for DMP at this point, equity-wise. But... Ah, he enters. Now... Wow, now enters. Now what he's going to do? I mean, he is not afraid of the gammon. A little bit of the back gammon if he gets... I mean, yeah, he shouldn't, shouldn't hit probably. He's, 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 uh, he's doing fine in the race. Yeah. Has got control. That would have been just uh, an overplay. It would. Uh, Mochi is a small underdog here. Yeah. Is it oh, the eight. Wow. No. Now we are getting close to... That was a game-winning shot. 5 to Okay, he's still alive. How do yeah. you play it, though? Duplicate aces. Uh, Is that the idea? Okay. Uh, yeah. 3-1. Okay, he needs to hit that fly shot now. He really needs to hit that fly shot. Yeah, and I think... Uh, 
Yeah, the, he gives uh, one more number. I don't know if that was necessary, actually. I don't know either. Okay, Mochi misses. You so want to avoid we... the double sixes? Okay, that's a pick and pass, I believe. Yeah. That's a pick and pass. I, yeah, absolutely. And it's safe. There's no shot leaving no. numbers. Mochi fans. So now he can, uh, yes, very good uh -huh. play. Yeah, 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 of course. Good of play. Course. Yeah, he has two checks Great. on the So he stays alert, even yeah. though he's time pressured. To one, you don't hit, no, or, do you? or do you? Ah, maybe, yeah, you maybe you do maybe hit. Because of the race. Yes, uh, I think yeah. you do hit. Yeah, just because there's, there's just no, almost no chance mm -hmm. that you leave a shot. Yes. Such a small uh, chance to leave a shot. But... <laughs> <laughs> take him off, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not over yet. He could roll two high dice next time, Yoshi. Mochi wants to fan. He does. And now Yoshi is double threes. Okay. Okay, so shake hands. Yeah. It, oh, not, 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 uh, they, they, so should, five, they should they should take a roll, of course. But it would be completely sick if if that were to happen. I think Moshi will lose the match on this roll. Yeah. yeah. So yes. Very exciting match. So um, we got really lucky, I think, because you don't see many 25-point matches ending like this. And yeah, uh, great game from both players. And uh, I suspect that some of the mistakes were just uh, produced by bad time management. Yeah, I think both players played really, really well from what we mm -hmm. saw. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I don't think we saw Mochi make any blunders at all, and we saw Yoshi make one or two, I think. But uh, all in all, I think it was probably really high play, high level of play. Yeah, yeah. I'm really uh, curious to see uh, the XG file and the whole match. So we can. Too, see, yeah. we can too see. bad that we don't have it uh, right away, so we could have uh, discussed some of the spots that we yeah. didn't see. Yeah. But uh, we'll try it to. Is I'll try to, uh, to to get a hold of the of the uh, match file and try mm -hmm. to upload it uh, as soon as possible. As soon as I have it here on uh, Bagaman Galaxy's Facebook page. Um, okay, the live streaming have has ended, and uh, yeah, thank you so much, Dirk, for joining me here. Yeah, and, you're uh, welcome. It was a lot of fun, and, and yeah. Bye-bye, everybody. Until next time. Until next time. So let's just see some hearts here, especially for the players, for all the you guys watching this. Let's give us some, some backgammon love and smash that love button. And uh, yeah, so that's it for now. And see you next time. BackgammonGalaxy.com presents... Backgammon Pro Analysis.